Hey everyone, so today I just wanted, I know it's another vlog video, but something has been totally on my mind and it's been bugging me, so I thought I should just clear things up. If you guys haven't noticed, um, an interview has come out and it's from the Straits Times SPH Razor TV and it is a haul segment. Basically, they interviewed the top three haulers in Singapore. I was one of them, Faces by Sarah and Sarah, I see Abstract were also um, involved in this video and basically they were just talking about hauling videos in Singapore and how Singaporeans might just be catching up on the haul craze. So there has been, I mean the interview has been launched and there are just two things that have been on my mind and that I just want to clear up with you guys because I know you would understand. The first thing I want to talk about is my video, the interview that I was in, and the feature of me, was basically called, it was called, it wasn't basically, it was called, I eat less to shop more. No, I don't. I don't eat less to shop more. I eat a lot. You guys know that I eat a lot. So it doesn't make sense to put a controversial title just to get more views. And I know you're probably saying, Razan, it's really nothing, like, it's just a title, People will understand you and they know who you are and stuff like that. But honestly, the whole of Singapore is going to see that video and it's already gone 2,000 views in less than a day. So I'm thinking when I go back to Singapore and being recognized on the streets and stuff, people are come, gonna probably going to think I'm a shopping whore and that I'm an anorexic one at that and that I don't eat and I shop because of that. So I want to clear things up and I want to tell you people who watch my videos and people who support me, the real truth about where my money comes from and how I save and how I allocate the money to things that are more important than other things. So I don't eat less to shop more. I eat the same amount. I eat the amount that I want to eat and I do other things. So basically first, where does my money come from? Because that has been such a popular question. It's like a highly requested video. So here it is. It's from my dad. My dad gives me allowance. My dad gives me a weekly allowance. And I don't know if that is the norm for you because I'm starting to learn that it's not. Um, and it's really weird because do understand that this is not a bragging part at all, but I was born with basically an environment in which all my friends had allowances about fifty to hundred dollars a week we get and that was our allowance that was our pocket money so um and so this is my story I get hundred dollars a week in Singapore and then here I get like two hundred dollars a week because of groceries and stuff like that so I do save in respect to that even though I am given the money. Um, the reason why I'm given the money and I don't work specifically is because my parents do not want me to work. They, um, it is, and I don't know if it's for you, sort of, but we're an Asian family, of course, and a lot of it is reflected upon our image. So if their logical reasoning, well, my mother's usually, my mother's logical reasoning is, Roseanne, if you go work at, say, KFC, not saying nothing's wrong with KFC, my, my dad is actually in the business, and um, if you work there or work at, like, say, a waitressing job or something, it's a bad reflection on our family. And um, in a sense, I feel that, you know, it's unfair because I want to work just like any other kid works, but I'm not allowed to because um, if my dad's friends see me working, they're going to talk. That's basically the issue here. So I don't work and I'm giving given a weekly allowance. If I say I'm going to work, my dad says, you want more money? It's that. And I say, no, I don't want your money. Like, I want to go out and get my own money. Like, you know? So he just thinks that I should be focusing on different things like studying rather than working. I have a job tomorrow, by the way, <laughs> but it's not like a waitressing job. It's it's an ex it's I work at office. Anyway, um, that's where I get my money. So now you know, and I don't I don't want to be portrayed as a shopping whore. So if you are a person who has just watched that video, 
um, and happened to check my channel out, then here's the truth. I don't eat less to shop more. I rather save on food. So how do I save on food? I buy home brand stuff. So I have home brand apple fruit bars, hot chocolate, home brand oil, cooking oil, home brand dishwashing liquid, home brand washing liquid, home brand floor, floor cleaner. I have all those things. And what the what is home brand? Home brand is basically the cheapest of the cheap. It's like a dollar instead of five dollars so you save four dollars and that's my philosophy is something that is sort of replaceable like toilet paper like um tissue paper if i don't need i don't need to buy kleenex i don't have to buy a high quality tissue paper for my nose that i'm going to blow my snot in and eventually throw away so i buy home brand stuff and that just saves a lot of money on food as well and in terms of food i don't buy like the organic you know organic ten dollar for two chicken stuff um, special I buy the special I buy the four dollars I buy the three dollars I buy as cheap as I go and then I cook it and I eat it so you know it doesn't really affect me the only thing that I would probably buy something is that if it's really important and healthy for me like palm I know palm is expensive but it really is good for me so I buy that Sometimes I don't even have it in my fridge now because I think that is too expensive actually because it's like twelve dollars for a bottle for a big bottle and that's a bit expensive. So that's how I save on my um food. In terms of clothes, I don't buy anything that is above thirty dollars or above okay, if it's above forty dollars, absolutely no. If it's above thirty dollars, I will really consider about buying it unless it's like a classic like a blazer because blazers are usually a hundred to two hundred dollars I would never buy something that's over a hundred dollars for a piece of clothing ever that is my philosophy unless like no I've never n not a single piece of clothing clothing I'm talking about clothes in my dresser is above a hundred dollars not a single one um, there's one that's eighty dollars and that's about as high as you go because um, eighty dollars was my blazer and I need that because I, I needed a blazer and usually blazers are 100 to $200 so I got the cheapest one. So in that sense, I do save on my clothes, of course. I don't buy expensive clothes. I think that if you have, to, if you see something that is stylish and is cheap, that's good and you just wear it and it just looks like it's, you know, that's why. Like just basically dressing up for cheaper. It's really simple. And, um, I also, you know, in terms of my allowance, because there are different things, like in, I guess in my environment, there are two different things where my allowance is a different thing and my dad's willingness to buy something for me is a different thing. So he might be willing to buy me a coat that is like, say, 80 bucks, but I would never buy that coat with my allowance that he has given me for the week for $80. So you see, see that difference? It's a bit of a difference. Um, in that sense, I do save in clothes. I would never really consider buying something that's over $40 because I think that's way too expensive for a piece of clothing. I usually skim it and then I leave. I shop at Valley Girl, I shop at, um, Conon, stuff like that, instead of Zimmerman and, um, Armani, stuff like that. So, that is my story on saving. The second thing I want to address is the sort of, um, you know how I answered the question, the first question they asked me was, how do you deal with negative comments? You know how people think you're vain and stuff. Um, okay, so I said that in a very hesitant way because I actually didn't really know what I was saying. Um, I said that, you know, I think they are jealous that they can't buy the things that I have. And I know how cocky that sounds now that I realize it and I regret saying that. I don't regret it to a certain extent because for me, in my soul, that that's true because if someone if you legit think about it if someone comes up to me and says hey you're a rich bitch you don't care about your money and you're buying all the shit so yeah I said a bad word too bad um because I'm angry anyway I don't usually say bad words but if someone can come up to me and say something that mean then I can say that they're jealous that's my lowest form of comeback I don't believe in fighting fire with fire I fight fire with water and I usually just let it go so if someone says, how are you not broke? Because I'm not. It's very simple. And um, yeah, so that's my explanation for that statement. And I hope that 
you understand that this isn't just like, you know, a shopping whore video. Because I just feel like people are going to watch that video in Singapore that have never met me before, that have never watched my videos, that don't know me at all, and they're going to think that I'm a shopping whore. When I really think about everything that I buy, and in, even makeup, I don't just do this. I actually think about every single thing I want to buy. I think about it for at least a week, and then I just realize that, hey, I really want it. I want it to be part of my collection. Then I go and buy it. You see that? Which is also a reason why ex that explains that I don't really buy drugstore makeup, because I feel that in Australia, drugstore makeup is very expensive. Revlon Color Stay Foundation is nearly $40.00. If I just save, say, $20 more, add it to the $40, I get something from MAC instead of Revlon. So that's my sort of theory behind that. Um, see, if I buy, like, mascara from Silky Girl, and I buy two mascaras from Silky Girl, that's already something from MAC. So I'd rather for, buy the MAC thing, you know what I'm saying? So I, I do think about, you know, how that comes into, like, mind and stuff like that. So I do think about that. And I just feel like... Although that haul video segment was about hauling, I just feel like they specifically said that we got famous, like all three of us got famous because of shopping. And that is so not true. I think that if I just did mainly haul videos, I wouldn't have as many supporters as I have now. I wouldn't have as many views supporting me because the main, oh, I'm just kind of really pissed off because the main purpose of my channel isn't to show you what I got. It's to help you. From the bottom of my heart, it's really to help you. And, like, to say that I got famous for shopping is, like, what the hell? Like, all of us, even Faces by Sarah, I think, uh, I see Abstract, they do wonderful videos and reviews. They do wonderful videos and makeup tips and makeup tutorials. These channels are aimed to help you. These channels aren't aimed to show you what we got. And I think that they just missed that out. Like, I wish they just sort of added, like, one sentence saying, these girls have makeup tips, they have da 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 and they do haul videos because that would just show you the whole story. Now everyone's going to think that I just, I'm a shopping whore, I'm a, I'm, you know, you know, a cocky shopping whore and all I do is just like show you what I got on my channel and people watch it because they think I'm cool, stuff like that. It's not like that. My channel is to help you. My channel is to help you in foundations and stuff like that and reviews. And that's the main purpose of it. It is not to do hauls. And I think that that's one of the things I also made, you know, really, really was biased about. And I think that I will come into closure to just, um, I will, I know, I, I'll be fine. I'm just saying, like, I just want to clear it up for you guys who are, number one, support me already. Thank you so much. Um, and for those people who have just watched my interview and have just stumbled across my channel so you can see the whole story about this whole video thing and I know I should have considered it um, even on my parents part if I should have done the video because um, I just feel like I haven't even told my parents about this video like the interview because um, if they found out like number one they'd be really mad at me about the title and like just basically a family image so um, yeah, so that's my dilemma, and I just wanted to clear things, clear everything up, and hopefully you've learned a little more, bit about, more, a little more about me, and, um, I'll see you soon. Also, I've done the contest results, so I know exactly who won and stuff, so I will do a video on that soon. I'll see you guys later. Bye.